All right, I want to talk to you guys about these Oakley Sutro glasses. I uh, had a pair of 100% S2s for years, actually about two years, and I, I, I liked them, but they had a nose piece. They had a nose piece here that was removable, and they ship with two, and I lost the first one almost right away, and then the second one, I, I swear, it became like a phobia to, uh, to not lose it. So uh, I finally lost the nose piece and also I lost the glasses and I had to get new glasses and I considered getting more 100% because I liked them, they were good. But uh, I started to do some research and I came across these Oakley Sutros, which are sort of the rage now. I think they're selling really well. Um, and uh, so I ordered a pair, I actually ordered three. All the ones that I thought I might like. So these are the red ones and then I got the full black ones. And then I got these, uh, I guess like turquoise kind of ones there. And uh, I like them. <laughs> They're really badass. They got some great reviews. And uh, so I gave them a try. They're about the same price. I think I paid like uh, $200 Canadian for them, 209 So it's like 160 bucks American. But uh, I like them a lot better. Having received them, I ordered three because I wanted to try them all. And that's kind of common these days, right? So, I mean, stores are closed everywhere. So you just order stuff and uh, I buy a bunch of shoes. I take the ones I like and I send the rest back. It's usually free. So Oakley offered that uh, free shipping back and free shipping out. So I ordered three, all the ones that I wanted. I couldn't go to a store to check them out. So I ordered them and then I tried them on and I'm pretty picky with, can uh, with uh, glasses and also with the lenses. So I settled on these ones actually. I settled on these because they're a little bit darker than these other two, the red and just the straight up black. Um, so they let in, these ones let in a little less light, they're a little darker. And I mostly ride on the street now in the sunlight, but usually in the street. I used to mountain bike, but I sold my mountain bike, but I found with my S2, my 100% S2 glasses, they were actually probably a little bit darker than these. When I went into the woods to go mountain biking, I, I had a hard time seeing the roots and, and all the contours, you know? So. Uh, I was considering getting uh, more, um, a less dense lens uh, for that, but I, I stopped mountain biking. I just, it's too dangerous and I, I'm scared to kill myself. And I'm just road biking now and I usually go during the day. So uh, I wanted lenses that were a little bit more, a little less opaque. And these guys here really nailed it. I like the look here too. I see a lot of guys with the red glasses here. I see these a lot. These are kind of common, kind of cool now. It's kind of retro. You know, so um, I kind of like these two and we're just talking look right now. So um, I like the black ones a lot. They're straight up. These ones kind of got a little bit more of the uh, retro red, you know, and then these guys here, I just think you don't see a lot of these, at least I don't. And I just like it. And you know what else? I really like the lenses. So like I said, these ones are, have almost exactly the same um, lens. They have almost exactly the same opacity. Um, the red ones here are very pinkish. They give a very pink hue to, to a lot of stuff, which I don't like. These ones have a little less pink hue, but they're the same sort of opacity, which is quite, um, they let in quite a bit of light. So if it's a really bright day, these, these don't block it out as much. These guys here have a little bit of pink in them. They're a little bit more blue green, uh, which I like and they're a little darker, so they're good in really bright sunlight. So these really nail it. I also use them for driving. I use them for everything. And so on a really bright day, I want something that can protect my eyes. And these guys, I think, are the best. Um, I'll talk about the lens too, the clarity. I'm pretty picky too. I'm a photographer. I make videos. These lenses are very, very sharp. They're, they're really, really excellent. The, the detail in the shadows is, is, is excellent. Um, of course, on a dim, dark day, if you go into the woods with these guys, I think that you would have a little bit of trouble seeing in the shadows, especially when you're going fast. But on the street, these are great. You can see the cracks, you can see the potholes. If there's a, a nail or a screw or a piece of glass, you'll be able to pick these up on a bright day and even in, in the lower light too. So I, I really like these glasses. Uh, I'm gonna keep these guys. I'm gonna ship these two guys back. Uh, I haven't worn them, so they should just matter of, you know, doing a return uh, shipment thing putting them in the mail and they'll get my money back. It's free shipping too. So it really didn't cost me anything. It's kind of standard now these days to do that. So, um, but I'm, I'm digging the, the Oakley Sutros. Um, I like them better than the hundred percents. Uh, I haven't tried a lot of other sunglasses. I've had Ray-Bans and I've had Boles and I've had, uh, gosh, Peoples, uh, Oliver Peoples. I've, I've had all kinds of sunglasses, but these are 
excellent, especially for biking. They stay on your face. They're not moving. The blind spot, the really sort of big thing here on these glasses is the blind spot. And it's true. If you look in your blind spots, it doesn't block. So these are good. Well thought out. Really nice. They have a little, uh, when you put them back in, they have a little spring, which is kind of nice. They seem pretty well built. And a big thing, big thing, because the 100% the S2s, I hated was this piece here, the nose, the rubber nose piece. It fell out. It came out. It comes, it pops out. I would... I would be riding and I'd go like this on an itch and the piece of plastic would pop out <laughs> and I, was, I became paranoid of losing it. And uh, these guys here, thank God, this is, this is fixed. I think you can take it off. I haven't tried it. You can remove it, but it's a lot more solid. So I'm really digging these guys. I like them. I highly recommend them so far. I've only had them for about two weeks, but I like them. I don't see how there's going to be any problems. Um, I know as I clean them and stuff like that, because I sweat pretty bad and it sweats and I have to clean as I ride with my shirt and stuff, I'm worried maybe of scratching them. But my 100% my S2s also got kind of scuffed up. I was going to buy some more lenses and you can buy just the lenses too. These guys also, you can buy the lenses. I think the lenses are around 100 bucks, which is a little bit high considering these were 200 Canadian, so 160 American. Um, approximately 100 bucks for the lenses. I think that's American, so it's, it's a little steep. But you know what? At least you don't have to replace the whole thing. It's kind of half price. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I just wanted to do this review because uh, for me, sunglasses are important. It's hard to find a good pair. I watched another guy's review and he kind of sold me on these glasses and I'm happy that he did it. So I'm just sharing the information, sharing it with you guys out there so that uh, you can find, a, a, I guess, a kind of cool looking sunglasses. But you know what? They, they are really sharp. They're good. They hold on. They work really well for biking and uh, probably anything else. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Subscribe to my page, please. Thanks.